Today, I've got something that may shock you a little. Not, not that. So someone in the chat a few months ago said I needed to start reviewing Edel. And I'll be honest with you, I took offense to that because I know I'm fat, but reviewing cheese is a little bit extreme, right? Then I quickly realized that Edam is the cheese. This is, this is Edel. Just an easy four iron to start with, huh? Good, no one's watching. This is, this is thin. This is, this is, yeah, this is thin. Don't know where that came out of, but it felt great. Don't matter, does it? Look like you know what you're doing. Cheers. So let's just say hypothetically, Lee, that this was in fact a cheese. Yes, I'm still talking about cheese. What? Look, put it this way. If crap DTC brands, direct consumer brands were a cheese string, today's club would be an expensive vintage cheddar. So today's clubs are not just any clubs. They are the Edel SMS Pro Irons and my goodness, they are beautiful. But they do boast something that you don't see very often. Almost driver-like technology in an iron. This is a golf club that has movable weight technology in the iron. I know, madness. I'm a little worried actually because we still haven't got a name for this segment of direct consumer and fancy golf clubs. And this is already, is it the second one? We need a name, comment below. We need one desperately guys, not one. I love your efforts, but not one is really, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want Al in the name, honestly, I don't know. Do you? I, who? What? Not gonna lie. Even the uh, pitching wedge is a bit of a saucy minx. Is it, has anyone ever described a golf club as a saucy minx? No. But here we are. This is a wonderful shape behind the ball. Right. Um, this is not a full pitching wedge. Really testing me here. Dead centre and massively long. These irons suck. They don't. Owl sucks. I know we have a lot of fun on the channel, right? But seriously, there is no place right now than I'd rather be. Look, just look at this. Actually, um, my partner first. Yeah, she's definitely first. Golf second. Okay, just, just, to, just to clarify, but back, back to the shot, okay? For everyone that doesn't know, Edel is a DTC brand from Denver, Colorado, which is one of the latest ones to be turning some serious heads. A bit too much meat on that bone, you could say. A um, little bit of a bump and run back. So I'm just going to talk quickly about the sole because it's not all about this weighting system. The weighting system's like, it's all about me. It's not, okay. It's also about this cool little sole that we've got, which has got toe and heel relief which for a situation like this is absolutely perfect. And you can tell it's got the milled scoring lines as well, so it's definitely had some treatment. Now, does, it, does that make this shot easier? Probably not for me, but we'll see. What just happened? I think first and foremost, I've got to say how attractive these are. If I was going to spend a bit more money on a direct consumer brand, this is exactly what I would want it to look like. Now, this is the SMS Pro. Um, I didn't get a chance or wasn't testing Edel um, when the SMS came out. So there is a bigger version, more mid to high handicapper edition, and then more recently they've done the Forged SMS Pro, which is a more compact, limited offset, thin top line, everything you really want in a in a golf club love this this is get a real wentworth vibe around these few holes at hollywood tree lined all the way around just gorgeous backdrop now it'd be even nicer if we could get a decent shot hey <laughs> it's quite on a bit of a slope as you can see we'll put the camera 
one of the canvas down there so you can see. I'm going in with a wedge, aim for that bunker on the left hand side and hopefully the undulation will bring it back. That is right down the throat. Is that big? It might be big, you know. It's a lovely crispy sound to it. So solid. Um, nothing crazy in terms of, you know, I suppose on the grand scheme of things, there's a lot going off for a better player's iron. And I'm mainly talking about this weighting system, but from an influence standpoint, it's really not bad at all. Now, I want to test this weighting system out in the net. That's, I think for me, with it being so windy, it's gonna have a lot of influence on the ball flight. So we're gonna go in the net, have a bit of a switch around with the weighting system, see what effect it really does have. So I'm not sure if you guys have played Hollywood before, but it's quite, there's like a linksy vibe to a Parkland course. It's very firm around the edges. The greens are quite firm, even though we've had a fair bit of rain. So this is very promising. Like it's not something that I needed to see though. I kind of know just by looking at these irons that they're gonna spin. But if you needed any, you know, this has bounced forward and spun back. Just what you want. And everyone looks for different things when they want a new golf club. For me, I do love attention to detail. I don't want this just to be thrown around a factory. I want proper, if I'm spending the money, time and effort has gone into it. I always clash with a Mizuno, a Miura, um, and this is, I'm getting the same vibe. But we've got a gorgeous ferrule, which really adds to the colorway. Beautiful little design, branded design on the uh, hosel going into the heel. And then just everywhere you look at this, it's been, you can tell it's been finely chiseled. It is a specimen. Not the only one, hey? So we're on the 15th. I love this because it's like a mini amphitheater of, of trees. And I really think it's gonna give us an awesome sound with this iron. So straight into the teeth, it's a par four, 356, 15th. It's called Irish Hill. And I just necked that, but I got away with it. That's, that'd be pretty good there. Did you get the sound of that hosel? It's a lovely hosel, wasn't it? As far as hosels go, it was sweet. So the biggest positive you get with a DTC iron is it cuts out all the middle, middle minions that fiddle around with the numbers and add profit margin and markup. Minions. Get out of here. Thought I just pulled a hammy. Yes. Usually you do, but this is still quite pricey. This is definitely price range up towards the big dogs. And I, I, usually I'd be like, oh my goodness. And it's, it's very ballsy, if you don't mind me saying, because it's a relatively new brand. Not everyone knows about it. And the marketing as well, because it's not a huge brand, it's not in your face all the time. So it's, I suppose it's reviews like this, articles that give you a bit of attention towards it. And there's no reason why you shouldn't pick this over something else uh, of a similar price. It is just as good, visually, especially. Performance, we've got a bit more work to do, obviously. But for now, if you don't, if, if you want a bit of a fancy named iron, this is probably what you'd look at. Turned out okay, got stuck on the, on the mound, which is not ideal. If you get a bit more run, it's a bit dry, you get on that flat surface, but we're gonna give you a bit of a, a overhead, overhead view of the shot. Um, exposes my strike, but who cares? We're going in with a 9-9. Nine -nine. It's 155, but it's straight into. That's just popped straight up in the air. It's long enough. Imagine having another weight port directly behind the hosel. So if you get some vicious, ferocious shank power shanks. Yes, sign me up. So, Last hole with the Edel SMS Pros, and I've thoroughly enjoyed them. Um, there'll be more, if you want to see more on the channel, just let me know, but I think there's some direct-to-consumer head-to-heads to be had, that is for sure. This is my favorite hole on the course. I think it's just absolutely stunning. Right, let's finish nicely. Oh my goodness. You don't usually say that with a four iron, do you? But that was just lovely. Probably need that again today, it's straight into the teeth. I'm not sure how I feel about my last shot with the Edel being like a punched pitching wedge, but let's see how we get on. I 
bit too much meat but flew it's a lovely little flight flight window it's not straight up in the air it's what you'd expect mid weighting so it's coming out nice and flat and obviously with this weighting system the weighting system that intrigued me the first time i heard about it it's such a fascinating concept and i do think there is a space in the market for weighted irons especially putting that weight right behind the hitting area so that's all from me all from the edel sms pro um, I preferred it much more than I thought I would and that's, that probably sounds a bit harsh but no, I think it's a class iron if you've got the money and maybe you want something a bit more boutique over that of the big brands at that similar price range so if someone says, well what, what irons have you got? I've got Edel Swiss cheese the response will probably be, what are those? quite honestly, at the moment but like I say, making waves, turning heads and I'm here for it so guys, thank you as always for watching. If you do like the video, comment down below, let us know. Hit the thumbs up. I would love, well, a thumb up. A thumb, a thumb. <laughs> and follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. Thank you.